The Digic 4 processor is the heart of this EOS camera. While the CMOS sensor captures the light, it's the Digic processor that transforms that light into something meaningful. The Digic processor is responsible for all sorts of processing, for example white balance and picture styles, and then it handles the processing of the data before it's written off to the memory card. Each new version of the Digic processor adds new features, functions and speed. This latest Digic version 4 has added the ability to shoot full high def movies. It's also added a live view face detect autofocus mode, as well as auto lighting optimizer. Just like Digic 3, it also includes 14 bit analog digital conversion for smoother final tonal gradation, as well as the ability to shoot SRAW files. SRAW are smaller RAW files. In the case of the EOS 5D Mark II, we have SRAW 1 which is about 10 megapixels, and SRAW 2, around 5.2 megapixels. The Digic 4 processor also handles the processing for peripheral illumination correction, a new feature found on this camera. Because of the way the digital sensors capture light, if the light doesn't strike the pixel at exactly 90 degrees, you can get shading in the corners of the images. This is what peripheral illumination correction aims to correct. Canon have mapped around 40 lenses currently, 26 of which are preloaded into the camera. The rest of them you can add into the camera using the supplied software EOS Utility. Now if you're using a lens that has peripheral illumination correction data available, you can choose to either enable it or disable it. If enabled, it will brighten the corners so that you achieve a uniform brightness right across the frame. 